Adrian, uh, this may not look like the offices of a major computer company. It doesn't really look like anybody's offices, does it? But it is, in fact, the relaxation area of a very relaxed company. And um, they are in their lunch hour, so they're allowed a bit of spare time. Um, this is DMA Design in Dundee. They make computer games. They were only started in 1987 by somebody made redundant from Timex up the road. And they've grown very rapidly in the last couple of years on the back of the success of a game called Lemmings. They're now working hard on a whole lot of other games. They've got uh, over 100 people here. They're talking of opening it up in America. Let's have a look at what goes on behind these screens. Now, all the people in here are working on what DMA hopes will be its new blockbuster. It's a game called Grand Theft Auto. It's got to be finished by the end of June, so they're involved in some pretty hard work in here. It's all about a car chase through the streets of a fictional, probably American city. Here are some of the maps they've been working on. And uh, Dave here is one of the uh, software designers who's been trying to put it together. Dave, just explain the point of the game. Um, well, it's a mission-based driving game where you're basically driving around the city, stealing cars, uh, running over pedestrians. And Pretty tame keep, stuff there. Well, yeah, staying away from emergency services, uh, police, and that sort of thing. It's driving oh, in traffic. You've just got out of the car. Indeed. Well, we can go and we can take any car we want. Right, you've just stolen a car. Fine. Uh, what's, what's your job then? What are you doing here? Well, I've been doing the basic car movement and also the uh, dummy pedestrians and the object reactions. And basically, it's just getting the, the cars to look good and run fast and having the people wandering about and making them look like a real crowd in the city streets. You're coming up against a deadline now. What, what's, uh, what's the working pattern here like? Um, well, when we need to, we work late. <laughs> Very late sometimes. We've had a couple of on-nighters to uh, hit the other deadlines that we've had in during the game. Well, we'll let you and get on uh, with it and we'll, we'll go on and see what else they're doing uh, elsewhere in the plant. Yeah. Now, this is DMA's music department. As you can see, they do use real instruments here. Let's find out what they've been doing for the Grand Theft Auto project. Craig, what, what have you been contributing? Um, I'm working on a radio station at the moment, the hip-hop station. There's a variety of different stations in each car that you go into. Every time you get into a car, you get different music? Yeah, different station. So this is a hip-hop channel that we're in the middle of doing just now. So you're not just taking it all off a CD, you've actually composed it? No, no, everything's composed in-house, yeah. Amazing amounts of work. We'll let you get on with it. Right, OK. You might think Darren here has gone completely mad, but what he's actually doing is executing punches in the motion capture department. Those punches that he's doing, they're actually being picked up on a computer here, will be used to animate models in another game. And uh, let's come around here. This is the bangs and crashes department, sound effects. Uh, what are you going to give us? Well, we've got a car approaching, skidding around the corner, and then finally crashing. Right, let's hear it. Here it goes. Comes around the corner. Sounds a pretty serious crash. Oh, there it goes again. It's getting worse. Now, this is what sounds like a real dream job. This is the testing department, and Gordon and Fiona here just get to play Grand Theft Auto all day. Gordon, is there anything more to it than just being a, a games player? It's not strictly true to say that we just play all day. What we must do is um, convene with the uh, programmers at nearly every stage um, to tell them what is fun. A programmer has an idea of uh, what a game should do, but a programmer's ideas aren't always fun. Now, Fiona, the only woman in a room full of boys, yeah. how do you cope with it? Well, I'm used to it. Um, I went to college for about two years and I'm the only female there, so you just get really get used to it. And how did you, you get know? this job? Well, like I said, I went to college and saw the job advertised one day in the paper and applied. And, and you've always played computer that, games? From a very early age, yep. So OK, well, we'll let you get on with it. <laughs> Thank you. Smashing. Now, joining me here is Gary Timmons, who's been here almost since the start, back in 1989. A lot of bangs and crashes and uh, excitement in that game. Is that what people really want, all that violence? We find that some people like that sort of game, different sort of people like different types of things, puzzle games, action adventure games. We're finding that network games are quite popular these days. Now, tell us a bit about the people working here. Where, where do they come from? What sort of people are they? Are they the, what what uh, the ruder people in my office would call nerds? Well, we'll find that here we have people from a wide variety of backgrounds, people from art college, uh, programming degrees. We'll have also some people straight from school who have joined the playtest department, that sort of thing, a wide variety. So the average age is 25, not a very formal company, it would be fair to say. That's correct. We'll find that we try to keep an informal structure here, not much of a hierarchy. What are, what are these people doing now? They all look like they're very, uh, very busy at work, but it's actually um, it's, it's the lunch hour now, isn't it? What are they up to? 
Uh, some of them might be working hard because of deadlines that are coming up, but we find that a lot of people here actually have an interest in games, so they'll be playing probably the network games at the moment. So all those people sat there were playing games, and, and, and they get paid for that? Uh, not at lunchtime, because that's what they do at lunchtime, but during the day it's uh, paid for developing games and playing games. Now, uh, what happens next for this company? How important is, uh, is Grand Theft Auto for the future of the company? Uh, Grand Theft Auto is one of the first games that will be released with the BMG publisher, and we're hoping to develop future products and hopefully games that people find interesting and enjoyable, uh, innovative products that nobody's ever seen before. You're just as good as your late, late last idea, really, though, aren't you? Well, that's what they say, but all DMA are hoping to keep on going on the success that they're enjoying at the moment. Well, Gary, we'll let you get back to your computer and play a few games. I'm going off to play a few now, Adrian, and I'll see you soon.